you can see the difference between this print and this print. A lot of people when they design they use a fillet to have smoother shape. There is no problem to use a fillet on the sides but if you use it on the downside on the top side that can create more visible lines. You can see it here more in preview so you can see that lines and here we can see it after printing you can see this it's so much visible lines here you can see it to solve this problem instead of using just a fillet we can use chamfer first after that we will use a fillet you can see it here it looks almost the same just with this method you can avoid these visible lines we just need to send it to the printer after printing you can see the result there is no visible lines here so we have solved the first problem if you want to 3d print a hole without messing a tolerance you can 3d print it like this or like that but sometimes the design or for some reasons obligate you to 3d print it or the hole on the sides if you try to print that on the sides you can see here there is no support so this it will go down if you have something it will enter inside to the hole it might be it's not going to fit you can see it here after printing here there is no support so it went down so it's not cm diameter to test that you can see if i try to insert this pin inside it's not going inside because there is no tolerance for that you can see to solve this problem there is many solutions one of it that you create triangle and you will extrude and make cut here you don't need support to print that on the sides we can see it here after printing there is no support you can add a fillet or chamfer to the out edge to make it easier entrance we can see we use the same pin and we try to insert you can see it fits perfectly sometimes when you use the fillet on the sides that can create z seams you can see that lines you can see it here in preview more clearly z seams it's creating because the nozzle it needs to change from layer to another there is many ways how to solve this problem one of this that you create texture and you try to hide the z seams on the corner on the edge so you try to create sharp corners for example here i create a rectangle then extrude that we make join after that we will use pattern we select the path or direction then you just need to enter quantity and spacing and you can see it now it's done you just need to connect all bodies after that we just need to go to the slicer we put hide it on the sharp corners and you can see it here in the preview that it's hiding on the sharp corner maybe the simplest you just need to create only one sharp corner and other use fillet that you can hide the seams on the sharp corner if you design a pin like that you are not wrong but still you can design it much better for example this pin you can add a fillet on the top to better start when you insert that then you can add the fillet or chamfer on the down side to make it more stronger we can go back to the design design it better we just need to select that and fill it we can add that then downside we can add a chamfer fill it to make it more stronger so it's less chance to break and you can see it now we just need to print that we can see it here it's more smooth on the top and the down it's more stronger now we get to the end of the video i hope these tips can help you to design better thank you for watching see you again